today. It's a nice day out. This is the cover for this phone. I have replaced the camera hole with this. This is two layers of red and uh, three layers of Congo blue made out of uh, theater gel lightings, theater lighting gels. And what's cute about it is that what you can do with it is you can generate a UV light. Now the first thing you do is you gotta set your phone to for um, slowest possible exposure. And you put a filter on. There we go. Now this is also gonna work on your face. You can make uh, you can make welding goggles and do the same trick. Will actually look better on your face. This is a fairly sunny day out, which is why you can see stuff. One thing that I would like to draw your attention on is plants. Now, as you can see, plants generally look various colors from violet to orange. But, here's the trick. Let me go back into the shadow here. Take the filter off. What I am holding here is a little frisbee. I want you to notice that it is colored a bright green. And it stands out as bright in front of the plant. Now watch what happens when I put the filter back on. And yeah, this kind of filter essentially defeats camouflage. Ain't that interesting? Now one thing you don't want to do because you will wreck the sensor or your eye is look straight at the sun with this. Your eye will be wrecked because if you do this with a pair of goggles your pupils will dilate and then you're staring at the sun with dilated pupils and you're still getting your full dose of UV light from that. Also note that this is only going to work in actual sunlight. And with overcast, you're not going to be able to see very much at all. Now, as seen in previous demos, if I were to couple this with one of my lasers, I can turn this into a chlorophyll detector. There's another trick to it. It will require some trimming, but it's the same principle. You can actually do a bit of you know, gonzo spectroscopy with this system. And that's the end of the demo. Again, all you have to do is get a phone of reasonable quality and some theater lighting gels. This is two layers of primary red and three layers of Congo blue.